We are learning new details about the San Diego ties to a deadly plane crash in Arizona. Good evening. I'm Steve Atkinson and I'm Lindsay Pena. Now dramatic new video is showing the moment the plane plunged to the earth, killing both people on board. That plane was registered to a man in Solana Beach and when 10 News reporter Lauren Davis went looking for answers, she discovered it was sold here just two days before the crash. Lauren. Yeah, that is right. The pilot was actually here in the San Diego area this weekend test flying that plane and the man who sold it to him told me today in a Skype interview. He is devastated by this news. Surveillance video from a nearby business shows the plane falling from the sky Monday morning. The pilot and his passenger were killed. The busy intersection littered with debris around several damaged cars that were hit by the plane. Yeah, that was a very tragic news, unfortunately. Avi Maltzman sold the plane over the weekend to a man who owned Ground Loop Aviation Corporation. He picked it up in Corona and did several touch and goes before heading back to Arizona. Ted actually impressed me very well I mean, with his flying skills. He did uh, at least eight good wheel landings with the, with the airplane and uh, uh, he felt very comfortable. I feel very comfortable with him. Maltzman owned the plane for seven years, flying more than 1,200 hours and never had a problem, saying it was in great condition. He tells me he heard the cause of the crash was pilot error, but the FAA has not made an official ruling yet. It's sad. It's sad. It's, he's a good man and his wife is, is a good person. They're great people. Good people whose lives were cut short in a tragic plane crash. Now, police have just identified the victims as 54-year-old Theodore Rich and 49-year-old Elaine Carpenter. Now, firefighters tell me luckily no one was injured on the ground in those two vehicles where the plane came down. In Solana Beach, Lauren Davis, 10 News.